Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Though Jordan's reign of terror seemed to end even faster than Sharon's tormentors, there was more to come in this instance. Young and Restless finally provided us with another dose of big soap opera drama, the first since Cameron Kirsten came to town. Except for the awful flashback of Tucker and Ashley fighting in Paris, which was terrible in and of itself, the rest of this week's offerings was sadly really dull. The confrontation between Jordan, Claire, and the Newman family in the lake house was an essential soap opera to watch. Jordan, with a flash of evil in her eye, scared the family before releasing a bombshell that caught both Victoria and Cole off guard and Claire herself, who had come to the conclusion that her aunt had been lying to her. The fact that Eve Howard's perverted sister grabbed a hidden knife, cut Nick, and then brandished the bloody blade in a confrontation with Victor and Nikki made me happy. I keep pleading with the authors to let the bad guys actually be bad. It was every bit the roller coaster ride one might have imagined, with the insane high adrenaline sequences juxtaposed with the calmer intensity and unfiltered emotion of the Claire slash Eve confessions. Despite this, the arc seemed to come out of nowhere and be finished very soon. It might have taken months for Claire to fully integrate herself into the Newman family and business. In addition, the story had so many gaps that we could have renamed it Swiss cheese. For example, how did they quadruple lock the windows and doors from the outside when they were inside? Why wasn't someone breaking a window or the French doors to escape? The threat still exists, despite the fact that the major drama at the lake house has come and gone. In a comical move, Aunt Jordan wedged herself into a vent and probably avoided detection by the authorities, who merely shrugged and left. A tantalizing cliffhanger emerged in the final moment when she peered out at the deserted house. Aunt Jordan will get her retribution, even if we never see her again. Since the experience has upended the Newman family, it has already begun. Nikki has resumed her battle with the bottle, and Victoria is uneasy about Claire's identity. Discover how Claire's story could take a turn that would permanently alter the ties within the Newman family. The return to the ordinary conversation and menial, low-stakes games back in Geno City seemed especially frustrating and boring after days of amazing old-school soap operatic drama playing out at Aunt Jordan's lake house. Though the unsettling flashbacks of Tucker and Ashley in Paris were entertaining, the most of the film was painfully boring. Though it's all very meh, I tried to spice it up with some conjecture regarding Kyle's real motivations. We were expecting Tucker McCall to square off against the town's powerful people and execute some menacing power moves, like taking over an entire firm, when he returned to the canvas. At first, we found it easy to despise him because of his soft side when he was spending time with Ashley or connecting with Devon and Dom. However, the character's honeymoon has come to an end, both physically and figuratively, and he has turned into an ugly would-be villain who only acts when it suits him, like smashing glasses and throwing chairs. My enthusiasm for Tucker is nearly vanished, and I'm not sure where Young and Restless will go with McCall after that powerful, Trevor Street John's performance, but cringe-worthy flashback to Paris. Ashley has also suffered from this writing, as I had the impression that I was watching a different character in those cafe sequences. For months, Tucker was led around by the nose by Ash, but instead of getting up and marching out on her ass, she sat there shaking during their argument. If she was still terrified of him, it may support the plot point, but she isn't. Audra is also taking damage as she gets drawn into this Tucker McCall vortex after emerging as a soapy vixen. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Nikki Newman, who has finally tasted what she has been missing, will find it difficult to resist temptation. The scheme by Aunt Jordan and Claire Grace caused Nikki to be driven off the wagon, which may cause a catastrophic domino effect when Nikki resumes her regular life in Gino City. Fans of Voy and R should anticipate Nikki to struggle with the alcohol at the Newman Ranch. You would think that Victor Newman would help Nikki by getting all the alcohol out, but throughout the week of December 4-8, she will still find herself staring down a bottle of vodka.
When Nikki feels particularly tempted to down a glass, she will pour one and grip it. As time passes, it's easy to see Nikki giving in and even slipping in even more drinks. Nikki wasn't at responsible for what happened at the lake house, but she must now watch out for her own sobriety and make an effort to get back on track. Nikki shouldn't surround herself with her worst vice and subject herself to more temptation than is required. Still, Nikki might not be able to maintain her sobriety for very long. After all of the turmoil in Oregon, it would be wise for the authors to continue the drama and add a fresh set of challenges. The long-term consequences of Claire and Jordan's plan could arise if a drunk Nikki loses control in GC. What happens if Nikki drives after drinking too much? If that turns out to be the case, Nikki may cause an innocent person to be struck by her automobile in a drunk driving accident. However, Nikki might even drive over a pedestrian and force another character to engage in a survival struggle. If Claire was cleared of all charges for her crimes, it would be an intriguing turn of events to discover that she had been mauled by a drunk Nikki and had to be taken to the hospital. Given that a DNA test should soon establish her connection to Claire, that would undoubtedly be an easy way to win Victoria Newman over as a sympathetic figure for her long-lost daughter. Whatever transpires, Nikki's troubles with sobriety may portend terrible news, according to spoilers for the young and the restless. Follow her for updates on what she might do when drunk. Jill Abbott is going to seize her chance, according to the Young and the Restless Spoilers preview video for the week of December 4-8, 2018. Jill hopes that Billy Abbott would be open to resigning from his position at Jebot and joining her at Chancellor Winters, given that he is now handling significant family problems. Jill is going to make a compelling plea, but Billy might not want to give in to Kyle Abbott's demands and walk away. And yet Jill will at least put out the offer, and maybe she'll leave Billy with the option to reconsider. She'll wait for positive news eventually because there's a chance Billy will adjust his perspective. Victor Newman seems to be stuck believing Claire Grace is just as terrible as her aunt at the Newman property. Even though Victor might not believe Claire deserves any pity, Jordan may have tricked her into that evil plan. Cole Howard will, nevertheless, defend brainwashed Claire and assert that he doesn't think Claire pulled this off as a ruse. Claire obviously believed Cole and Victoria Newman were her parents, which is why she took all of these actions. However, that simply cannot be conceivable, is it? In the weekly preview video for Y&R, Victoria poses this question to Cole. Victoria should really explore the possibility that Jordan actually exchanged babies, as she said, since weirder things have happened in Geno City. Victoria may have to acknowledge that Jordan is depraved enough to pull it off. If Victoria, Cole, and Claire want to know the truth, a DNA test will eventually need to be performed. Further issues are arising as it appears that Claire is Cole and Victoria's biological daughter. If Nikki Newman has a moment to herself at the ranch, she will smuggle in a drink. In the sneak peek, Nikki can be seen pouring herself some vodka, but will she be enticed to take a sip? Check out Nikki's most recent struggle with alcohol, as revealed by spoilers for the young and the restless. It looks like Nikki will struggle to maintain sobriety now that Jordan and Claire have shaken her resolve. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.